<laughs> she did. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to make corn pudding and I'm laughing because I remembered something my granny said. Now, you know, don't be offended if you like Jiffy cornbread, more power to you. But my granny used to say that was the stuff they swept up off the warehouse floor and just boxed it. That's why it was so cheap. She never used Jiffy, ever. <laughs> and when Randy and I got married, his, his mom only ever used Jiffy. He never had cornbread other than Jiffy. So I had to start making Jiffy. <laughs> and he and the kids loved it, and I don't. I, I don't care for Jiffy at all. <laughs> but they love it. But today's corn pudding recipe, there is no Jiffy. This is the real deal. And that's what we're having, is a corn pudding. We're, I'm going to show you how to make Thanksgiving corn pudding. Right, these are really simple, simple ingredients. You're going to need four eggs. Now, I know you see five in there, but these are my chicken eggs, and they are not grade A large store-bought eggs. So, I'm going to use five, but you use four. We're going to need some a can of evaporated milk, a can of cream-style corn, some salt, some pepper, some cornstarch, some sugar, and the secret ingredient, vanilla. It's not secret anymore. All right, we're gonna start with the eggs because we need to beat them nice and fluffy. So we're gonna start with the eggs. Now we're gonna take this whisk and we are really gonna whisk these eggs. We're gonna whisk them nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna add that sugar. That was a half a cup of sugar. And we're going to whip them some more. I can't do it left handed, y'all. <laughs> Let's do it like that. I'll try it. I'm going to open this can of evaporated milk. And I'm going to pour all but two ounces. I'm going to leave two ounces in this can, and I'll show you why. That's good. I'm going to give that a good whip. And then we're going to add some salt. I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we like pepper, that's a preference, so how much ever pepper you like, but I'm probably putting a half a teaspoon in there. Might even be, no, it's about a half a teaspoon. Gonna mix that up. Now we're gonna add our can of corn. And it says cream style corn. And we're going to pour that all in there. We're going to put a tablespoon of vanilla. Not teaspoon, tablespoon. And it goes. We're going to give that a stir. 
and get that all incorporated. All right, that doesn't take but a second now because it's all good and in there. Now we're going to take the cornstarch. And we're going to put two teaspoons of the cornstarch into that milk I left in that can. Gonna give that a little stir. I'm gonna give that a stir. And get that cornstarch all incorporated. And then we're going to pour all of that into the pot. Give that a stir. And this is really runny. See? Really runny. But that's okay. Now we're going to spray a two-quart casserole. This one's eight by eight, but any two-quart casserole will work. And then we're just going to pour that right in there. And we're going to put that in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Okay. And remember, 350 degrees. And it's going to take right out an hour. If it starts to looking brown on the top, then you'll need to take a toothpick or something and insert it in the center. If it comes out clean, it's done. If it comes out and it's not, then you need to leave it a little longer. Look at there, look at there. All right, now we're just gonna let this sit here and cool down. It needs to cool down and finish set. Look at that. I cannot wait. But I'm going to let Randy give you his taste test. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he needs a fork. Or probably a spoon would be better, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is very good. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's good. No, that is actually really good. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.